Kristen and it is time for my next installment in my series of four looks one palette and this week this week well it is this week for me <laughs> we are doing the Kat Von D Monarch palette and as uh, one quick note is that normally I wear the same foundation and concealer and everything like my base is the same throughout the whole week today will be different and today I'm wearing the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur products which I did a review on I will link it below in case you're curious about that but I just wanted to let you know and the rest of the week what I'm wearing on my face will be listed um, in the description box okay let's go ahead and get started with what is on my uh, what is on my eyes today so I have this middle color which is in telepathy all over my lid on the outer third, I have this one, which I believe to be Papilio. I believe that's how you say that. As my transition color, I have, I believe it's Vanish. It's kind of tricky to tell the names on the back of this, but right there. And I will use that probably throughout the week because it's the only kind of transition-y color in there. On the edge of my crease, just to add a little bit of something, I have this, which is Wrath. So I will go ahead and zoom you in. So here's the look. And you can see all I did was line my upper waterline. I just kind of wanted to see more lashes today. So my upper waterline is just lined with a brown. I use the Chanel Stilo in Espresso. And on my cheeks today, the blush that I have is the L'Oreal as a base. is the L'Oreal Visible Lift in Soft Peach, which I was reviewing earlier today. And then over the top of that, I used my Becca blush. I don't hear people talk about this one very often. In Songbird, this is one of my favorite blushes. And on my lips today, I have Max Watch Me Simmer. And I had that just kind of like a, as a stain. And then over the top of that, to really mute that out and just bring out more of the color that I was looking for, I used Revlon's um, Gloss in Bellini. Okay, look two is a little bit dramatic. I, I don't know what happened this morning. I just started going to town and that's what happened. So on the inner third here, I have this color in Summerfly. And then this brown one, I believe to be Shadow Box. I have that in the outer third and just kind of smoked up into the crease. In the crease, I used Wrath. Again, I really love that color. It's just, I don't know, something about it. I really like that. And then I, of course, used this color again. This is Vanish, just to transition a little bit. And then this color here, which is um, Entomology, I believe. I kind of have that as my brow bone and kind of to clean up the side. And then I took the black one, which is Deadhead, and just deepened kind of things up. I used the Mary Kay Gel Liner on my upper lash line, my upper water line. Um, lower waterline and then I also went over that with that matte black shadow just because I don't like any shine or anything like that and I like to kind of smooth it out a little bit so let me zoom you in so here's the look on my cheeks today I have the elf mineral blush in sweet retreat just looks like that's just a nice neutral blush and on my lips I have MAC kind of sexy which is still haven't determined whether I think it's kind of sexy or not. And over the top of that, I have uh, Lip Lava Kim from Camp Cosmetics in Trist, which I will give you a quick, so you can see what that looks like. Okay, for my third look today, I used this color here in Delaney all over my lid, and then I used Killing Jar in the crease to soften out the crease. I don't often use kind of a shimmery shade in my crease, but I like how that turned out. And then I also took, let me just look, this is tricky I tell you, Disintegration, which is right here, on the outer corner and blended that in. And you wouldn't think that those would blend together, kind of looking at them in the pan, but this color, when you swatch it around your lid, it comes off very differently than it looks in the pan. And then I took this same color down underneath my lash line I have this color here on the brow bone, which is Entomology. Then I took a little of Tiny Death on the inner corner. So I will zoom you in. So here's the look. Okay, so as my liner today, I used the Chanel Stilo. In, it's a waterproof Stilo in Espresso. I used that upper lash line and upper waterline. And on my cheeks today, I used the NARS 413 Bleaker Blush, 
which looks like this, which is very bright. So what I like to do with this, when I'm kind of wanting this tone, but maybe not quite so bright, is I'll put that on. And then I took my powder foundation, the Camp Cosmetics that I've talked about before, and Take Two R1, just a powder foundation. I use that over the top of it just to kind of mute it down a little bit. For highlight on my cheeks today, I actually used a Camp Cosmetics eyeshadow in Light Year just to add a little bit of a little bit of something something and I used that again actually on my lips. So today I took Camp Cosmetics Lip Lavas in After Hours and You Are My Sunshine and again I will give you guys a shot of the colors. So I mixed those two together and then just on the center of my lips I dabbed a little of this Light Years which is a suggestion from my friend Michael and just smoosh them together just to kind of give a little bit different dimension a little more a little more something something okay for the last look today I used the pink color here all over my lid and that's in killing jar and then I used disintegration in the crease like really in the crease <laughs> and then I used the matte brown which is shadow box to just deepen up that outer crease I took this brown again beneath my lash line and then a little bit of that shadow box fox box on the outer third of my eye just to kind of deepen up that kind of outer edge of my eye and then I also use this entomology as my brow bone highlight which I have done throughout the entire time I think that is everything so I'll zoom you in so here's the look Okay, as my upper lash line, I used that matte brown just on an angled brush. And then upper waterline, I used the Chanel um, liner in Espresso. For blush today, I have the L'Oreal True Match Blush in Baby Blossom, which looks like this. And on my lips today, I have the Essence Lipstick in All About Cupcake. So let's talk about the palette just a little bit. I know that most of you guys have seen it, but the palette is made of a cardboard kind of construction, but it feels very sturdy to me versus some of some other kind of palettes that come in this particular um, packaging. So you've seen throughout the video, there is a very large mirror up here. It is beautiful. From what I understand, she designs these and, and um, is the artist of the patterns and that sort of thing. So it is just, it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. It's, it's nice just to look at. Uh, in the within the palette there are 12 shades then you can see three you know kind of brow bone or highlight or all over the lid kind of colors here are larger size and then there are nine shades down here four of these shades are matte this top one right here the kind of blending color that I used right here and then the brown and the black are also matte so let me give you some swatches of all of these. So one thing that you will notice as I show you the swatches is as they look in the pan, they look a little bit different. Not all of them, some of them. As they look in the pan, they end up looking a little bit different as you swatch them and as you apply them to your eyes. So just an FYI. This is Entomology, Telepathy, and Tiny Death. So Entomology is a completely matte color and kind of has a yellow sheen to it. Reminds, reminds me a little bit of rice paper. And then telepathy has some definite sheen and metallicness to it. And the last one, tiny death, I don't, it, it doesn't really do much at all. So there's entomology, telepathy, and tiny death. Tiny death has these little kind of sparkles in it, but it just, you just can't, that's all you can see. And I apologize, it's 5.30 in the morning right now, so... I'm doing my best with lighting this morning, but you can just, you just can kind of, there's just not much to it. When it does come off on your skin, there's a little bit of, a little bit of color, but not like you would think, and definitely nothing like this. This is an amazing brow bone highlight, an amazing kind of clean up your outer edge. I, I, I really have enjoyed this color. I also used this one all over my lid a lot just to kind of neutralize everything and add to a nice blending base. So anyway, so those are the big, the top of the three colors. Next three are Wrath, Papilio, I believe is how you say that, and Summerfly. So Wrath, you can see, is it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It does have some glitter, tiny glitter, glitter particles when you look in it, but I don't find that it shows up on the eye. Papilio is just a really nice kind of metallic-y sheen. 
And then Summerfly is that really pretty gold that has just the slightest bit of kind of glitter sparkle in it, but again, you don't find that it shows up on the eye. I like, I really like all three of these shades. I will say that Summerfly, like I've noticed with golds, it doesn't have the lasting power as some of the other shades do. So this is Killing Jar, Delaney, and Vanish. So there is Killing Jar, and that's a really pretty kind of pink metallic color. And then this is Delaney, and that's one of the ones that in the pan, if you look at it, it looks, it's, Hopefully I'm getting a good shot here. It almost looks like it's going to be silver, but what it ends up looking like is more of a silvered taupe. That makes some sort of sense. And then Vanish is a very nice light matte kind of transition-y color. These are the last ones. This is Disintegration, Shadow Box, and Deadhead. So there is Disintegration. Shadow Box and Deadhead. Disintegration is a sheen, almost kind of metallic-y. Deep, it's not quite a mid-tone brown, it's deeper than a mid-tone brown, especially the way that it, that it swatches and applies to the eye. And then that's a matte deep brown and a matte black. And the matte brown, I really like the matte black, is okay, it doesn't blend quite as well, and I actually don't think I ended up using it in any of these particular looks. I've used it in the past, I like it to kind of deepen things up a little bit, but it's not my favorite matte black in the world. Well, I would say I do really like this palette. It was fun to, to play with again. I hadn't, I've had it for quite a while and haven't played with it all that much. And I really did enjoy kind of trying to create some different looks. There are a few shades that do, and I'm going to grab something to show you here. Um, some of them are really powdery. For instance, the disintegration color right here. When you put a brush into that, see if I can show you. Can you see how much powder that? And that kind of that kind of drives me a little bit crazy. It makes it it makes it kind of messy. So I would say it applies well. It doesn't apply chalky. It just doesn't press together very well. I I hope that that makes some semblance of sense. But like some of the other shades, you get a little bit of that with this one right here. I just did the same thing with that one, and it doesn't give up, the, give off the same kind of powderiness as the other one does. So I just wanted to give that a mention because I know that's really important to some people as far as how the shadows and that sort of thing. The only really disappointing shade in there for me is this one right here, that kind of creamy with some glitter in it. It just doesn't, it just really doesn't, it looks like it's going to show up there and it just doesn't really at all. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It, it's just nowhere near as nice and pigmented as the one on the opposite end. Um, and like I said, the other thing is you really kind of have to swatch these on your hands before you apply them to your eye to know what your color payoff is going to be as far as not how much you're going to get, how much you're going to, how much you're going to get but, uh, as far as payoff, but the actual color because it just looks a little bit different in the pan as it does when you apply it to your eye. So I found that kind of interesting and different and a little bit tricky, but once you know that, I mean, it's, it's easy to work with. So this palette sells for $46. It is still available at, I bought this by the way. It is still available on Sephora's. I just checked and put it in my cart just to make sure. Um, so you absolutely can still purchase this if that's something you're interested. I don't honestly know if it is limited edition or not. I know there's a Chrysalis Palace that is more purples. I don't think that's something that I will purchase. I really love warm colors and this definitely leans more toward the warm. Even the kind of like that silver color that you think is going to be a little bit cooler when you put it on, it's really not. It's, it's definitely, you know, leans more warm. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you want to know what's on the face for all of the looks except for the very first one, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, for primer, you can't really tell because I have it in this, but I'm using up the last of my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer, and then I use the Chanel Pro La Mer, which is almost gone. You can, there's, it's almost gone, I promise you. <laughs> and then um, for, I think the only other thing, oh, for my powder, the whole time I was using the it Cosmetics, I will grab it for you. The It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. So I used that throughout the video. And for my contour, I was using the Camp Cosmetics in Monogamy, which I have stuck in my little tart thing here, but I was using that throughout the video. And for mascara throughout the video, I used the Clinique High Impact Mascara. 
And I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I think the next one up in my series is going to be the Balm Voyage palette. So that is the next one that I have promised. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.